if one, <laughs> if one thing you needed to be both, what would it be? The one the one thing you needed to be both of those yeah. guys? I don't like the way that sounds. I'm, I'm good, right? Okay. Yeah. It's kind of loud in here. It's just echo. He good. That's hard to say. This is what I thought I needed to be, Arrow. I respect that that the way you started that. Because <laughs> right, I was gonna be on your ass. All right, we're going, yeah, I was go ahead. I thought I needed everything to be there. I I mean, I, I analyzed them for myself and I knew that years before we fought, I said it's gonna take everything to be him. I boxed, I used speed, I used foot movement. I lured him on the rope. I, I was on the ropes and spent off the ropes. Those, those are those are strategies that we use to back somebody up and and, and put them on the ropes. You know, mm-hmm. kind of quick way to you know change the tide. And then I I thought that I needed everything. And in the fight, I was like, somebody got to get knocked down. I was like, I got to get him. I said, whoever get somebody somebody got to get knocked down in order for this for there to be a winner. Right. I thought I felt like it was going to a, a draw. And he gets the knockdown. Mm-hmm. If there's one thing you need to be Arrow, you gotta hurt him. You gotta put him down. Mm. And what's this, what's the thing? What you gotta do to beat Terrence? Shit, I don't know. I told you I ain't had nothing. What you got? I think you gotta get to Terrence early if you're gonna beat him. I feel like if you if he if you let him on fight night figure out exactly what you're doing, I feel like mm-hmm. your chance of success are diminished mm-hmm. greatly. To me, with Spence, I, I think you gotta hurt him, yeah, and, and put him in a, a, a space he's never been in, yeah. Like I think knocking Spence down would be huge, yeah, because I think Spence fights with a lot of pride as well yeah. as skill and yeah. IQ, but yeah. I, I think it's a lot of like testosterone inside of him. Like yeah. I'm not just trying to beat you, yeah. Like I don't make you quit, basically. Yeah. So. I yeah. think sometimes you can use that against some really uber aggressive athletes. The 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 greatest boxing match to to be made in boxing mm-hmm. in the last probably ever. I agree. Because both fighters, you gotta you gotta you gotta you really have to kill me. You're not just fighting against skill and talent and conditioning and uh, you you fight against pride. Yeah. Because both fight, of them, when they've gotten you hurt. You fight against two dudes that, that want to, at right. the end of the fight, I want everybody to know that right. I whooped your I kicked ass. your butt, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? and it's hard for me to see who going to win because it's like a teeter-totter. Boom. I got that round. Yep. I got that round. Yeah. Ooh, who the fuck got that round? Yeah. Who got that round? Yeah. We can get three of those when we don't know who got it. Yeah. But with Terrence, I felt like the, there was, I felt like with Terrence, I was outboxing him until the, until what happened ended up happening. Right. And the one regret that I have against Terrence was that I didn't mix it up. That mm-hmm. I didn't do more mm-hmm. than one thing. Cause that, I, I knew I had to do more. I had, knew I had to do everything against yeah. uh, against Arrow. And I think mentally I knew I had to do everything against Terrence. I think I didn't know exactly when those those points were going to show up. Mm-hmm. And then he never really gave me a tell. He never really he never really showed me that I needed to change it up. You know what I mean? Right. And so I stuck with what I had. Until it started to backfire, you know what I mean. Right. Um, but the same thing you got to do against Arrow is the same thing you got to do against Terrence. You have to hurt Terrence. If you don't hurt Terrence and you don't put him down, and hope that the referee wave it off, he's getting up. I think they're both crazy enough. If you hurt him, they coming. Well, in his both career, when Terrence has gotten buzzed, oh, he's full attack mode. Yeah. Whatever play in their head is out the one. Yeah, yeah. I'm, just, I'm just gonna get you. <laughs> yeah, I'm kill gonna or hurt be you killed. Back. Right. Yeah. Terrence, kill or be killed. Yeah. And I think Earl got that in him too. Ohio's runs boxing. He said Earl will pressure Terrence Crawford, but once he feel he feel he his punching power. Excuse me. Once he feels his punching power in both hands, he will start boxing like he did Mikey and being smart. It's a great way to look at it. Uh, Ohio runs boxing. Uh, I think the same thing. Um, I think that uh, I could see that too. I could see this being a situation where Earl is trying to come after him, and then he says, "You know what? Let me outbox you. You know what I mean? Let me try to box with you. You know, instead of trying to run into the fire. You know, or or, or walking into the fire. You know. Mm. If you watch the Kell Brook uh, Crawford fight, Kell landed a lot of jabs, and it started to affect. Uh, Crawford eye after only three or four rounds. It did. That was interesting. That's the first time I'd seen. And Earl Jabs is a little more powerful than that. Yeah. But again, I think I don't feel I feel like Crawford energy will be different for Earl than it was for 
Brooke at that point in his mm-hmm. career, mm-hmm. Amir Khan, you know. Mm-hmm. I've been around the Joker. The Joker thought he could throw a football for yeah, me. I, so, I mean, like, you know, I was hanging around, out that day. Right. Changes a lot of my thoughts. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah. He's a I mean, psycho. And, He's and, a competitive psycho. And even with me, I never let him feel the fire. Right. You know what I mean? It's cool to outbox somebody. It's cool to win rounds. Exactly. It's cool. Yeah. But when that fire comes, I never let him feel the fire. Right, you know what right. I mean? I never gave him a reason to get outside of, outside of himself. Mm-hmm. And that was something I actually I've always prided myself on was getting making people uncomfortable. I never made Terrence uncomfortable. You gotta make Terrence uncomfortable. You got another one. 